What's up you guys? As you can see, I have freshly washed hair and I thought we could do a little bit of an experiment today. As you guys might know, I got the Dyson Air Wrap for Christmas from my wonderful boyfriend Meech. Thank you so much because this is one of my favorite products of all time now. Like literally, if you have hair like me, and I'll tell you right now, my hair is kinky, curly, damaged, fried, needs to be blown out because my curls are dead. Basically, blowouts are a huge part of my life and because I have so much hair, it's thick, it's not not long anymore. I've just got a lot of hair. Blowing my hair out once a week is like a whole production. Like I basically know any day I film my hair usually I'm not filming unless it has to do with me blowing out my hair because it takes up a lot of my day between the washing, the blow drying, like by the time I'm done with my hair I'm exhausted. So this coming into my life was a huge help because I feel, I mean we're gonna test this today, but I feel like this has made blowing out my hair so much easier because it's just this one stick you just this is the brush this is the air it's all one thing you don't have to have the blow dryer with the brush it just makes life a lot easier and that's just what I believe so I thought today we could put it to the test and we could do one half of my head using a regular old blow dryer a blow dryer I love and I was really enjoying before I got this this is my man this is the irresistible me onyx blow dryer it's a freaking amazing blow dryer and obviously a lot more affordable than the Dyson Airwrap the Dyson and air wrap is gonna run you about $500 minimum. Uh, it ran me a little bit more than that because this attachment didn't actually come with the set that Meech got me. This was an extra $50 to get this blowout attachment and I have to say it's the only attachment I use. <laughs> I think when my hair is longer I will use the other ones but for right now this is all I need and all I want and I love it so much. But we're gonna put it to the test. Today I'm gonna do half of my head blown out with a round brush and a blow dryer as most people normally do and then we're gonna put this guy to the test and see if it actually gets us a better blowout, a quicker blowout. We're gonna see, we're gonna time them, we're gonna see how they come out. I generally always flat iron either my root, like I usually go in with a flat iron after just because my hair is so curly and if I don't do that, it will like almost immediately frizz. So we're gonna see which one, which side needs the flat iron more. I'm almost positive they're both gonna need a flat iron after and I'm definitely gonna go in with one, but we're gonna see which one looks like it needs it a little bit more and also time it we're gonna see which one's quicker which one this one is obviously gonna be easier because I don't have to hold a brush with it but we're just gonna compare and contrast see if this is actually worth your money I think it's worth your money but I know a lot of people don't have $500 to throw around for their hair I personally think it's a great investment for me because one, I hate doing my hair, two, my hair is very, very, very difficult to manage. So anything that's gonna help me out is a big win in my book, but you might not all feel that way. This video is probably gonna take me a little while, so we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start off with the blow dryer side and the brush I'm gonna be using to blow dry my hair is this Con Air. Uh, I don't know. It's a round brush. The core is metal so it heats up faster and then the bristles are bore bristles because that gives me the most shine and bad. It just works the best with my hair bore bristles but I like that it has the metal core because it makes it hotter and your hair dries quicker. I'm gonna take down my hair and we're just gonna do a little prep. Wow my hair is so short now. Ah! Every time I do a blowout, I put this stuff in my hair. This is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. It's basically like a blowout balm that helps your hair dry faster and it also is damage or like heat protecting thermal protection and gives your hair just a nice shine it's just good stuff I like it um in terms of it actually making my hair dry quicker I actually believe it does because I've dried my hair with and without it and it always dries quicker when I use this so I really like it so I'm just putting this literally all over my hair and then I have some Moroccan oil here I'm just gonna do I think I'm gonna do one two pumps of this all over my head because I have very dry damaged hair and it needs all the juice it can get so I just run this through my whole head. I usually put some after, but obviously if you have less hair than me and not as frizzy hair than me, not as curly hair than me, then don't do that because you'll be a greasy mess, but I don't have that issue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair. I did do the rice water treatment when I washed my hair today, and I am documenting that whole thing for you guys. So at the end of the month, expect a video on my progress. Okay, I have my rat tail comb and I'm going to part my hair directly down the middle so that we can have two even sections and we can see, we can compare and contrast between this blow dryer and the Dyson. 
Okay, I'm gonna just put this this side in a little space bun over here, tie it up with my fave cheetah scrunchie, and then we'll brush this side out and get to blow drying. I also, if you guys have watched my other hair videos, you know that I usually, like this is not how I part my hair when I blow out my hair, and I'm very specific how I part my hair. So this is giving me a little bit of like OCD trigger, but like it's fine, we're good. It's all for science, right? Okay, I guess I should start the timer right now, right? Like, because we're about to start. Okay, I'm going to start the stopwatch right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I ain't trying to waste no time. I really want to see how this is going to work. So, clip this part up. Brush this out. And this is going to be super loud, so I'm going to speed this part up. If I have any commentary, I'll shut off the blow, blow dryer and tell you. But we're just going to go ahead and blow dry some hair. Let's do it. Okay, I can already tell that one is losing because it keeps slipping off of my damn table and it's really annoying me. Um, but this piece feels really nice and smooth. It only took two minutes for me to get this piece dried. And I mean, it looks pretty smooth. I can't, we'll see how this piece looks on the other side when we do it, but okay. I'm going to keep blow drying my hair and I'll report back if there's anything else to say. Also, I did want to mention that my blow dryer, it's not like the flip switch. It's like you have to hold the button and then you have to put it to the highest power. It takes a little bit longer and that's like what I don't like about this blow dryer, but the results are really great um, with it. So that's just kind of annoying and why I like the Dyson more. <laughs> minutes to blow out this half of my head that actually was quicker than I expected also this do you see what I mean when I say I need a flat iron like this is just I don't know if I'm blow drying my hair wrong like what's the issue but like that ain't gonna fly with me dog so this is my hair blown out it's obviously you're gonna see when I do the Dyson my hair comes out a lot flippier and less like straight when I do it with the Dyson hold on I literally need Need, just just need to do it. 
do this. But I will say, other than this piece right here, I don't think I need a flat iron very much. Like, literally just only around my hairline. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do this now so we can compare later. But, like, when I blow dry my hair, like, you just can't get that close to my hairline and it's really kinky curly. So this is my hair with the blow dryer side and it's really nice and smooth, shiny, looks good. Only took 19 and a half minutes. I'm like literally shocked about that. But yeah, so now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side with the Dyson. So let's do it. I will say I'm excited to use this because the brush and the blow dryer combo it's just annoying like it's just annoying to have to hold two things at once and I know that's like lazy of me but when you have to do your hair like you just want to make it as easy as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and clip this side of my hair back and we're just gonna do the other side and I use the highest heat setting and the highest power setting on the blow dryer and I do the same on the Dyson. So this is the heat, it's got cold and then two levels of hot, I put it on the highest level of hot. And then it's got three, it's got like low, medium, high, I put it on high and then I turn it on. I'm gonna press reset and then we're gonna start all over again for this side. Let's go. Okay, so you see how I can do like a little curl with the Dyson because I just twist it because it's one piece I can just twist it and get like that little curl. It's really pretty like I like my hair with a little more body a little more movement. So I love that the Dyson you can just like maneuver it a lot better because it's one piece. And also that only took me a minute to do that one piece to dry it and this side took me two minutes. So let's keep going. But I will say this side looked smoother. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you guys, and that is time. 14 and a half minutes. So I saved about five minutes uh, with the Dyson Airwrap. That isn't too big of a difference, but if you think about it, that would be 10 minutes if I did my whole head with the Airwrap, like at least. So that's interesting, right? Um, I thought I would have saved more time, but I also didn't think that it would 
take that like I always think of me doing my hair as taking like a full hour but I guess my hair is shorter now and like less dense now because of my recent haircut so I guess that has something to do with it but if we look at my hair if we look at each side I will say finish wise I prefer the finish of the blowout with the blow dryer because I, I, I've deciphered why. <laughs> so this side to me looks smoother. It looks like it won't frizz as easily. If you look at the root, the root is straighter. Like overall, the hair shaft is just a lot smoother and straighter than with the Dyson Airwrap. And I know why that is. Because with the blow dryer, I got to use a boar bristle brush. This attachment is not boar, it's like the plastic bristles, which I hate brushes like that. And I just pray, I pray to God that Dyson comes out with a different blowout attachment that has bristles more similar to this because then it would be absolutely perfect. But this side absolutely needs the flat iron more than this side does, which honestly, it doesn't bother me. Like this is still the pick for me because I go over my hair with a flat iron or a curling iron after I do it anyway, like no matter what, just because I don't like the way that just a blowout looks on my hair like at this length, maybe when my hair is longer, um, I will. But as you can see, this side is so much more shiny than this side, don't you think? Like this side looks kind of frizzy, right? So it is quicker, but the finish isn't as good. But overall, I prefer the Dyson because of the convenience, like just doing my hair with this one tool is a lot easier because I always use a blowout as kind of like a base for other hairdos I do. A base for me curling my hair with a curling iron, a base for me curling it with a flat iron, a base for waves, a base for whatever. I always end up using another tool over it. So that like it being as smooth as this side isn't necessarily a need for me right now because I'm gonna do some more shit with it. You know what I mean? Like right now my hair doesn't look good. Like I don't want my hair to look like this. I have to do something more with it. Something that these two tools can't do for me. So the fact that this is quicker and easier, I still prefer this. But if you are the kind of girl that just blows out her hair and goes and you have a similar hair texture to me, you are going to get a better, better finish with this. But I mean, also, this is obviously a lot less expensive. But for me, my preferences, my needs, this is definitely the way, the go way to go. I love it so much. And I literally just pray to the Dyson gods that they come out with like a attachment head that's more similar to a brush like this, because then I will be good to go. And this thing is powerful. Like they tell you to use it on damp hair, but I've used it on soaking wet hair and it still dries my hair amazingly so I really love this I, re I really do but I guess you can't beat a classic regular old blowout so I don't know I'm still a little torn you guys can tell me what you think in the comments down below I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my hair yeah you can totally see a difference whoa you can see Ooh, Dyson 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 <laughs> yeah like you can see this side needs needs some Moroccan oil. This side is like good to go. And I swear to God, this kind of brush gives you shiny, softer hair. Like it's the brush, it's in the brush. It has nothing to do with the tool. It is all in the brush. So please Dyson, just come out with a boar bristle brush attachment because there will be more people that are willing to buy your insanely expensive product. But yeah, let's look at the edges. Pretty even if you don't, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I think better results with the blow dryer, but convenience goes to Dyson. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different for me. I love you all so, so much. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe so we can have some more hair videos, some more videos about everything. You're going to love me. I promise. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Speak to me, Kylie. I'm the type of girl you call wifey. Yeah. Speak to me, Kylie. I'm the type of girl you call.